I know what a lot of beginners in Blender usually think. Blender is so hard. Isn't there anything easier than Blender which is free and has a big community to support? This is exactly what I tried to find out this last few weeks. Turns out there isn't anything like it. But actually, it depends. Huh? And spline could be something you'll love. There's literally so many different reasons to use 3D software. A lot of people don't need a realistic all-in-one 3D software which does everything. Spline caught my attention because it fulfills a lot of requirements for a lot of people, some of which Blender doesn't even provide. Why are you Obviously, me? Blender is way better when it comes to use cases and realism. But let's see how far Spline can go. And let's see if it is something you should use instead of Blender. So let's talk about cost. I mean, it is a no brainer for everyone. Like the cost of Blender is like free. Like Blender is open source and free. And uh, even though like Spline is free and you can actually do most of the stuff in Spline, but still Spline has premium features, which is in the paid version. But still we can just we can just say that okay in terms of cost both are great because in spline you can do most of the things in free version community and support okay so we all know blender is great when it comes to community like even a lot of the like even a lot of different softwares which are really industry standard softwares do not have that kind of community and support that Blender has. Like there are so many different tutorials, there are so many different YouTubers who, who do exactly the same thing that you need to see. So there's definitely a community in Blender. Spline also has a community and it is a decent kind of community. Its tutorials are like, they are great. And there are not a lot of tutorials on Spline, but still it is like enough for a beginner to begin Spline journey, but still it is not as much as Blender. And one more thing that is, uh, that I found in Spline is that some of the tutorials are like, like their official tutorials are a little bit like, uh, they jump up and down like uh, sometimes you don't understand what's going on uh, because you see one scene and one setting and the other frame in, in the other scene you will see different settings so it gets a little confusing but overall it is still a pretty decent community in spline exports in terms of exports spline is actually okay because there there are so many different things that you can export in like you can record and you can uh, export the objects that you made it is uh, basically for like having a website for uh, for website and to get something in the website but still uh, spline has great uh, support in exporting your renders specialized strength spline has a different kind of specialized strength in it most of the things in spline has to do with the fact that you need something interactive so something in the website that you need uh, to interact with so spline is exactly for that blender is obviously for making animation making product animation making a lot of different things character animation and stuff like that but spline is a little different in that we will touch on it a little bit later ease of use we all know how blender is in ease of edit, use like another pad cut and then click to confirm that cut now i can go ahead and then cut but let and me just tell you spline has a much better ui than blender you can see a lot of different things whatever you want to do you see in the option and you can kind of figure out by yourself most of the things so spline definitely has a great ui and you can do a lot of different things in spline just by looking at it it has a very good learning curve like i made a lot of different models in spline in just a week so which took me like a long amount of time in blender like i don't know a month or so so definitely spline has a good learning curve in terms of features there are some things Spline does and there are some things Spline does not do. Like for example modeling, Spline can do a good, a decent kind of quality of modeling. There are some things that you probably wouldn't be able to do in Spline 
uh, in terms of modeling, especially the plugins or, or the add-ons the Blender has for just for the modeling stuff. Spline probably don't have it and there are so many different things that Spline cannot do. But still, in terms of modeling, there's so many different, uh, just like I said, UI is great. So whatever simple things you want to do in Spline, it is a little bit easier in Spline to do in Blender than in Blender. In terms of texturing, I felt like Spline has very different way to texture stuff. So I'm thinking that in terms of like basic structures, Spline can do good things and it is really easy for you to use Spline but I don't know how it would uh, hold a candle against Blender in terms of like complex structures. So definitely and texturing in Spline is really different. Like there are sim uh, there are so many different things that you can do in Spline like for example I came to know about this depth texture in Spline, which is a really good way to give some kind of texture to object but in overall like it has a different experience when it comes to texturing in terms of rigging i'm not sure if it has rigging in terms of lighting you can have good lighting in Spline, but at the same time it won't be as realistic as you can do in blender because obviously blender has ray tracing and a lot of different things that can make things really realistic but spline is just a little bit like different kind of method to do stuff but still lighting for any kind of stylistic style i think spline is great animating in spline is a bit different you are going to animate in spline probably through states which is probably in blender as well like the shape you know shade states uh, i forgot what it was called but yeah spline, uh, blender has also that but spline particularly does any kind of animation through that or through like interactions like moving a mouse around whatever object you made or stuff like that which blender does not have like inbuilt but still spline has a different way to animate stuff Particles in Spline are a little different and I think it is a good thing because there are so many different particles like for example here I am making sand particles okay so yeah definitely they're not realistic particles but still it gets the job done and I felt like it is not as easy in Blender to do this stuff maybe I'm wrong maybe uh, if you think that I'm wrong maybe tell me in the comments but I feel like it is easier for you to do a lot of stuff in uh, in Spline than in Blender. And Particles is one of them. And it does not break, unlike Blender. So definitely Particles is a bit better if it, it depends on what you want to do with the Particles, what kind of style you're going for. But for like stylistic style or stuff like that, Spline is definitely better in terms of Particles. In terms of fluid simulation and physics, I don't think Spline is amazing. But at the same time, Blender has like difficult stuff when it comes to that as well. It gets all complicated, right? It, it just doesn't seem like it is something you can re easily depend on. Sometimes things would work, sometimes it won't. And it would also depend on the kind of scale you're going for like for a very small scale blender i don't know why it just crashes but for large scales yeah definitely fluid simulation works uh, physics kind of works but in terms of like flying there's basic physics that does work correctly and other than that i don't think like spline is made for physics stuff yet in terms of sculpting I don't know if Spine has a great deal of sculpting or not, but I've seen people doing some kind of sculpting things. Uh, I don't know if it is a workaround or it is just a feature, but I felt like sculpting would be better in Blender. Okay, so additional things. Definitely Spline has a lot of different 
additional stuff that you probably won't find in Blender or you would have to have a plugin or something in order to do it with Blender. Like for example, there are so many different things like for example, easy embed in websites. Like you can just, whenever you make something, you can just ex uh, click on the export button and you can just get the exact same file that you made and you can use it anywhere in your website. It is that easy and everything would work correctly. Like you don't have to control a lot of different stuff and you, you don't have to set up a lot of different stuff in order to get it. So that's why in terms of like embedding stuff and putting it on website, putting in uh, other different kinds of places, definitely Spline is much better than Blender. Spline also has AI generated stuff, which is really great because sometimes you would need to have AI generated textures and models. So definitely in terms of that, Spline is great. It also has pre-built library, which is great. You wouldn't need to have a plugin add-on or plugin in Blender, but in Spline it is like already there. Like basic kinds of stuff you can already get in Spline. And I think I also think that Spline also has Gaussian splattering. And obviously, one of the best things that I found in Spline is that it is web-based. So you do it in web and you don't have to think about saving it all the time. It just auto saves. And at the same time, um, I think a lot of processing happens in their server. So even if you don't have a great PC, you would still be able to do a lot of different things on Spline without any lagging. So definitely, I, I think that that is also a great thing. My overall conclusion is that if you want to do stylistic type of stuff in your scene, then definitely go for Spline. If you want to put something in real life, like in websites and stuff, not in real life, but you know what I'm trying to talk about. If you want to have interactive objects or 3D stuff in your website or whatever, definitely use Spline. It is great for that. But if you're going for realism, if you're going for a lot of different features that are really complex, then definitely use Blender. There is a, like a great amount of things that you can do in Blender, but in terms of like easiness, definitely go for Spline. So yeah, that's my review of Spline. It's not a review, but whatever it is, that is what I think about Spline. And it is a really great software actually. Um, I've been using it to make websites and stuff and you should definitely check it out you can actually check this video which talks about like how to do all the fundamental stuff in blender so definitely check it out be sure to like subscribe or whatever the hell i'll be back with more